Men are controlled by impulsive sexual behavior. And this is why so many men are depressed, why they're struggling with dating, and why they struggle to find financial abundance, to find happiness and purpose in life. You have been programmed to waste your sexual energy, your creative power, and this is lowering testosterone and basically making you feel like shit every day. In this video, you're going to learn why semen retention is essential to be a man in 2023. I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can manifest your ideal life. If you want to learn more about sexual mastery, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And to up your bedroom game, make sure you grab my free ejaculation control course through the link in the video description below. In Chinese medicine and Taoist energy cultivation systems, our sexual energy, specifically our sexual fluids, are related to our jing, J-I-N-G, which is basically our physical essence. Everyone is born with a certain amount of jing. This is what's keeping your body alive. It's what's keeping you and animated and healthy. It's like your battery, so to speak. And you're born with a finite amount. When you spend it, it's gone and you die. And Jing is also your creative potential and your health potential as well. I think a good comparison here is money. It's like you're born with a certain amount in your savings account and it's up to you how you spend it. And when it's gone, it's gone. The problem is that we are not aware of this. We're told that it's healthy for men to ejaculate as frequently as they want. But the truth is that every ejaculation, you are spending some energy. And it seems like you have an unlimited amount when you're 18 years old because you can just do it over and over and over, but pretty soon it starts to catch up with you. And when you burn up your jing, you start to age quicker. Excessive ejaculation leads to mental degradation, depression, low motivation, low testosterone levels, infertility. Basically, you are spending your core energy and your vitality dries up. This is happening to men at a younger and younger age. Men in their 20s are struggling with erectile dysfunction because they're jerking off to porn three times a day. And its problem is getting worse and worse because as porn and sexual media is so much more available to everyone on the planet, at younger and younger ages, there's kids 10 years old who are addicted to porn. And it's only getting weirder and weirder. I mean, there's all this AI porn, virtual AI girlfriends. I mean, it's getting fucking weird out there. I think it's not going to be uncommon in the future for the average man's sexual relationship to be with a robot, to be with a VR headset hooked up to a fleshlight. And that's going to be the average human sexual experience. So there's a lot of factors putting pressure on you to be constantly ejaculating. Someone is profiting from this. A man who is constantly ejaculating is weakened. He's becoming domesticated. Low testosterone, he's easy to control. It's part of the domestication of the human race. So watch out for the thirsty thoughts and the sex robots. And it's also tempting because it's so easy. Within five seconds, pretty much anyone on the planet could be on porn, watching porn, jerking off to porn. It is more addicting than opiates. Porn is really the ultimate drug. Why is it free? Again, it's a control system. This is a huge problem for men. Because of this constant ejaculation of porn and this, this depletion of your body's resources, you are functioning in energetic depletion. You have no presence with people. You feel nervous and anxious interacting with others. You can't look people in the eye. You develop social anxiety. You feel alone and isolated. And of course, this kills your dating life. It keeps you from having legitimate deep connections with others because you're just living in a state of depletion, excessive thinking, worrying, feeling guilty and weird about things. And this is what's happening to men all over the world. They're struggling because they're jerking off to porn. When you start practicing semen retention, when you stop jerking off to porn every day, you become liberated. You become strong. You reclaim your masculine power. Instead of leaking energy frequently, you start to build back up your energy. You start to build back up your vitality. Now you're saving and investing your jing, your energetic currency, rather than just spending, spending, spending. It's easy to spend your energy, but we're not taught how to rebuild this energy, how to reinvest it. And once you start to do this, it rebuilds your core system. It rebuilds your vitality, your endocrine system functions better. Your testosterone starts to come back into a normal level. You will feel more masculine. You will feel drive. You will feel motivation. You will feel confidence again. This is how we're supposed to feel as men, but we've been programmed to be slaves. We've been programmed to be weak. So when you start practicing semen retention, when you stop ejaculating frequently, you start to become centered within yourself once again. And this buildup of sexual energy by practicing retention starts to create pressure. It starts to create desire. This is a good thing. Men often ask me, what do I do about sexual impulses? I'm having sexual thoughts. It's terrible. No, it's not a terrible thing. It's a good sign that you have this sexual vitality and this core energy. The problem is that you've associated arousal as being this uncomfortable thing that you need to immediately release by ejaculating. So when you get comfortable with that feeling of 
sexual arousal and sexual desire when you open your body up so you can contain that energy so you can ground it so you can redirect it into something else than ejaculating into a tissue so now you can put this energy into other things so it's going to make you more productive if you allow yourself to be of course it's easy just to cave into the old habits but when you start to rebuild your lifestyle around your practice of semen retention you start to prioritize productive things productive outlets creative projects business physical exercise meditation spiritual development when you start to prioritize these things then you have this healthy output you have things that lead to long-term benefit this is all about getting out of that short-term fix like okay well if i jerk off to porn i'll feel really good right now for 10 seconds if i eat this chocolate cake i'll feel really good for 15 seconds but you'll feel like shit later you're never going to be satisfied by that you're always going to be seeking quick fixes you're going to be a weak addicted person who has no self-control when you start practicing retention it builds discipline it builds self-control that carries over into every other aspect of your life to truly be successful to truly create a fulfilling life you must be able to delay gratification you must be okay with some suffering with discomfort with pushing yourself you have to learn how to work hard you have to learn how to put time energy and effort to develop your discipline to develop your focus and willpower most people can't focus on one thing for more than 15 seconds these days so you're going to become in the top one percent of people on the planet who are strong who are focused who are creative and who can control themselves and that is how you are going to live a life worthy of living rather than being a domesticated animal who can't help but jerk off over anime porn every day and bring it back to dating women want a man who has his shit under control if your sexual impulses are out of control if you can't go more than a few days without jerking off to porn you have a problem and it's going to really hurt it's definitely going to destroy your relationships it's going to destroy your sex life so getting control of yourself practicing semen retention will help you rebuild your masculine energy build your testosterone so you have better sexual vitality and you will have more presence more confidence you will be more grounded and more able to attract the polar opposite of the masculine the feminine so it's really not that difficult stop jerking off and do productive things with your time it simply takes you making the decision to make this change in your life committing to it and when you have that impulse to get on the porn site to jerk off just completely wasting your energy you have to stop and think do i want to stay a slave to this pattern is five seconds of scratching an itch right now going to cause me regret after that five seconds is over probably it's probably gonna fuck up the rest of my day maybe i should do something else with my time maybe i should push myself a little bit get out of my comfort zone cultivate myself the decision's yours my friends a practice that's going to be essential for you in this process is redirecting the sexual energy through my body i have a guided video on the testicle breathing exercise which helps you to do this follow that video to keep your sexual energy moving and creative as you're practicing semen retention this is essential and let me know in the comments if there's any aspects of semen retention you have questions about or are struggling with take care my friends mm -hmm.